Welcome to the Wild About video series. Tune in each month as our town biologists share with you elements of nature and wildlife that are vital components to our ecosystem here on Kiowa Island. Welcome to Wild About Bobcats, bringing balance to Kiowa's ecosystem. Welcome to Kiowa Island. Today we're going to be talking about bobcats. We're going to talk about the research that we do with these bobcats and why they're so important to the island. So bobcats can be found throughout all of Kiowa Island. They can be seen in backyards of homes, crossing the roads, on golf courses, uh, but they really like to, especially during the day, you often find them on marsh edges or in the secondary dunes, patches of cover where people don't normally go into, and these animals can get in those areas and, and relax during the day. And of course at night, that's when they're out and about. They're hunting mostly at night, and so again, you could see them pretty much anywhere at night. We've been doing research on bobcats for more than 20 years. Our current project using GPS collars is in its 13th year and is the longest running GPS study on bobcats in the world. These collars collect a specific number of locations per day, allowing us to identify habitat use patterns during day and nighttime hours, denning sites, travel corridors, survival, dispersal, and much more. Okay, so we've got a bobcat in the trap here and we're gonna head over and put this, put this animal to sleep um, so that we can take some measurements and hopefully put a collar on it. Okay, so this bobcat we've caught today, he already has a collar um, and he also has a pit tag which we've scanned and we know that we caught this bobcat last year. Uh, we caught him in the park side area and today we're out here uh, near the ocean course in Ocean Park. Um, the next step is to weigh the, weigh the cat. So we're gonna put him in this laundry bag to weigh him. 20 pounds, one ounce. So next we'll take some measurements. We'll start with the total length. So we'll measure from the head all the way down the back to the tip of the tail. Next we'll measure his right rear foot. His tail will be 16 and a half centimeters. So the final step before we let this cat go is to put a new GPS collar on him. So these collars have a drop off mechanism. Um, right on the side of the collar that we can remotely deploy. So once the battery dies on these collars, we can actually drop them off and then go out and pick them up um, so that they don't have to stay on the cat any longer. We analyze the data from these GPS collars and use it to pinpoint specific areas or habitat types on the island that are of vital importance to bobcats and to update the bobcat management guidelines for the island. These guidelines provide suggestions and recommendations to all island entities and property owners regarding creation, preservation, and improvement of bobcat habitat. Bobcats are very important to the Kiwa ecosystem. As the top predator, they help to control populations of prey species further down the food chain. This would include species like rats and mice, rabbits, and even deer. Bobcats do an exceptional job actually here at Kiowa of controlling our deer numbers and it helps keep our ecosystem in balance. 